Okay. Walk me through this. <laughs> to the baddest electric vehicle you've ever been in. Let's go. This is our only prototype, so don't hurt it. Okay. We're gonna have some other opportunities for you to turn it up. This is just to give you a good taste of asphalt. We'll move to a gravel rally type uh, application and then to like a desert application. We're gonna try out all the flavors. This is just the first one. So stay calm, cool, and collected and just enjoy yourself. Oh man. I don't know about the calm, but <laughs> it's totally in control. It's a very easy car to operate. I want you to be accelerating hard, braking hard, feeling the platform of the car, changing direction. Then I'd like you to slide the car around. Um, gotcha. And then we'll move to the, the fun stick, the handbrake. Ah. <laughs> Can you dig it? I'm digging it. Okay, man. Well, I'll go through the operational procedures with you right now. So if uh, any happens electronic smokes comes out anything like that you've got the emergency shutdown right there you shouldn't need to touch it for any reason we have numerous kill switches on it it meets the highest safety standards you need to have your foot on the brake and you'll go from this P position and you'll just press D go accelerate relatively hard brake relatively hard we'll get get a good feel for the steering and then we'll build up into uh, driving a little bit harder after that you got this man thank you so much Wow, this feels like a million dollars. <laughs> no way. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God, it's, it, it turns so nice. Whoa. No way, <laughs> this is crazy power. <laughs> wow, the throttling and the control on this is insane. Gravel tire setup, take this thing up and go play in the dirt a little bit. Wow. I, I, I feel like I'm talking to Michelangelo Da Vinci right now. You you and your team yeah, it's, and Hypercraft have really there's no words to describe no, this. This is it's really special. I'm very fortunate in my life that I get to drive a lot of really cool high-end vehicles all around the world. And this does it for me every single time. It's never let me down. This is just the first one, you know, this is just the beginning of a lot of cool EV stuff that we're going to crank out. I'm glad you feel the same way that I feel. And yeah, we're, we're just getting started, both, both you as a driver today and uh, us as a, a car company. Here, this is the the brainchild racetrack of Ken Block as a, a playground for him and his family to to enjoy. Very high quality rally cross track, big jumps, sliding corners, and I think it's a great place for you to taste the echo and uh, you know get your driving skills up to par. And this is the place to do it. What an honor! I'm so so grateful for you and his family having us out here. Yeah. So this is the Sierra Echo. This is the latest iteration and the first EV model of the Sierras that we've ever built. We're so happy with it. That's all we're building. There's a lot more electric vehicles going forward. This is the full race version. Lucy Block, Ken's wife, drove this at Pikes Peak at the big international hill climb a few months ago and she killed it. What we've got you set up with right now is the gravel setup. It's perfect for tearing up this type of terrain. A lot of suspension travel for doing big jumps. It's the latest and greatest Sierra. All the best technology and engineering that we have partnered with Hypercraft with their electric powertrain. This is a race car, right? This is pro level. This is as, as crazy as it gets. I'm hearing that in the near future, this might be more 
of a consumer option. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, 100%. The goal with Sierra has always been to offer really high quality driving experience and minimize the cost in doing so. We're gonna have essentially this car at a $39,000 price tag. So very much consumer level car, very much in the realm of what people are paying for UTVs in the performance space today. It's something we've been working on for years to be able to get the price that low. We'll probably be losing money a little bit in the beginning as we first build those cars. But what we didn't do is compromise any quality or performance. So what you're gonna taste today is the highest level of performance that we have in an EV model. The base model, the base Echo, isn't gonna be far off from what you're gonna experience in this today. And we'll get you up here to the upper course and we're gonna send you airborne in this thing over this jump that you see here. I'm sure we're gonna get you some air time. Sound all right? That sounds all right. So I'm John Miller. I'm one of the founders of Hypercraft. We came from Power Sports. The only way we can do this at the level of performance that, that we wanted was to go electric, which was a, a gigantic hurdle that was very hard to overcome until we realized that there were probably many other people in the world such as Cole and Sierra Cars, who needed a powertrain developer just like we did. We kind of pivoted from being a, a vehicle builder focused 100% on powertrains. And from a power sports perspective, we're losing access to a lot of public lands. And one of the main issues is the noise that we make. We wanted to solve some of that. And of course, instant torque is just the no brainer part of it. It's three modular batteries. It's the hyper pack combined to create almost 19 kilowatt hours and at 400 volts, so. <laughs> Four? hundred volts the highest you get in the bike world 72 so oh, wow. 400 is just you never hear that and just driving it in the parking lot in the lowest power mode i couldn't believe it do you think it's time to rip it out into the dirt yeah i think you're ready i've never been this stoked for anything i really mean <laughs> that so thank you so much let's yeah, get buddy. it <laughs> Showtime, baby. The thing has more power than you could ever know what to do with it. So <laughs> what I want to work on is not charging into the corner so fast, but getting good power exits. You want just a little bit of slip angle on it to, to, to slide on exit. I want you to really feel how much throttle does it take to maintain the slide and maintain that slip angle. Jump lesson will be round two. Okay. Go get a bony. Thank you so much. <laughs> And I see exactly what you're talking about now. I need you to skip the course and do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> We're gonna get breathe. <laughs> Going to the big boy track with some jumps. Come on. Come on. 
Now Cole was talking about the Sierra base, which is this car without the carbon fiber and a couple changes that most consumers can get themselves is uh, my new dream car. Let's take it to some jumps. Oh. Can I get a... So he's in a 700cc Sierra car. 36, 36. That was so cool! I can't even do the turn! That was awesome! I gotta do that again! I'm hitting this jump! Here we go. It's not just in this corner, you just get bit the worst because of the type of corner this is. Your entry speeds everywhere are too high. You're coming in hot, too hot on entry, and you're trying to get it to turn. Well, it's, it's you come in too hot. It's, it's not making any more turning at that point. Because if we were putting a lap timer on you, you're maybe two tenths faster in, but you're throwing away three seconds on exit. You give the brakes just a little dab, and that helps set the nose, and it makes it more positive on steering. You still feel like you need a little bit more, pull the handbrake. I love getting these, this coaching from Cole. What a legend. Here we go, 36. Whoa! Oh, I overhit that one. Let's go! by the time you got to the halfway corner and you straight lined out, it was the tidiest and the fastest by far. If you get in, you're like, oh, sliding forever and wait, get back and go again. It's huge, huge time losses. Some of the fastest laps are not that fun to watch because they're, they're not dramatic. You're not sliding around. It's just real, real tidy point squirt, especially on the dirt. So you can really have some dramatic driving that is extremely slow. <laughs> That was the most fun thing I've ever done in my life. I'm back at the hotel right now and I'm sad. I don't know how anything can compete with that. Fortunately, we're going back out tomorrow. We're going to the dunes. That will be next week's video. I wanna give a massive, massive shout out to Sierra Cars and Hypercraft. They built the Sierra Echo and it's the only thing I've ever 
ridden or driven where it didn't even occur to me one time today to turn up the power. I was in the lowest power mode on that car and it didn't even occur to me to turn it up. So maybe tomorrow, next week's video, I will turn it up. There's only one week left in my giveaway. The winner chooses between the 70 mile per hour go-kart or $10,000 in cash. You can enter down below, I've linked it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I'm on my